Hello, family of light. This is Davida with Medium of the Light Tarot. I am back with you for your November 2020 love reading. I hope that you are all doing well. So Leo, 2020 November, what we got going on for love? We got the lover's card in reverse. Got the three of pentacles in reverse. You've got the ten of pentacles, the chariot in reverse, the magician in reverse, and the seven of wands. There is a lot of blocked energy here, people. Leos, what are you up to? <laughs> Let's see what's going on here. We've got the King of Pentacles in reverse. We've got the Nine of Cups. Okay, I'm hearing there's going to be a little more here on the side. There's the Six of Pentacles in reverse. The Victory card. And the Looking to the Future. Usually I don't do these extra three unless they fall out, but <clears throat> my guidance was saying, hey. All right. So generally, this is you, this is them, this is the storyline, and this is going to be extra information that we will find out as we go along. Let me take a drink of water here, Leos. You obviously think this is the one, or you thought they were the one. You wanted to build something with this person. I feel like you ha you still have some hope because here is the Ten of Pentacles. They wanted things to move forward as well. They wanted to create this. And then here's the Chariot card in reverse. So they wanted to move this forward, but there's a standstill here. What is the standstill about? I mean, what this is about. Yeah, there was a conversation that didn't go so well. You guys might be married with children. And for a very small portion of you, you found out that the person you were with is married with children. Or you already knew it, but it's become a problem. So for some of you, this could be a third party situation. And there was a conversation. I feel like you were like, okay, either shit or get off the pot. Is it me or is it, is it the family? I think that when you entered this relationship, you knew for the vast majority of you knew, but I think they were kind of telling you, oh, I'm thinking about leaving and you know, we'll figure out what to do with the kids and, you know, eventually they'll be all right. Yeah, they were presenting you with this idea of, oh, I'm the king of, you know, pentacles. I got this situated, but it's in the reverse. So now you're really seeing after you kind of get over the, um, the intoxication of the relationship, you know, that sexual chemistry, because obviously I feel that there's great sexual chemistry in this one between the two of you. It's like they, they're confused. They're confused about what to do and how to move forward. Cause I think you put your foot down and you're like, no, I'm not skating along with this anymore. I think at one point they even begged you. You don't know it, but they are trying to go within they are trying to figure out what's going on with them because they know that their confusion is causing this great pain. 
I feel like the wife or the husband, whoever this is, you know, the other spouse, because just because it says wife, it doesn't just mean that it could be, you know, whatever their significant other is. I think they have had an idea for a while now that you guys have been together or that their person has been unfaithful, wandering. I think, I feel like their, um, their spouse is, um, not sexually open to them. They're more interested in being the caregiver of the family. That was the major reason why they got married. And I feel like, and maybe this is the storyline of your person. And they're like, well, you know, my wife or husband, they just wanted a family. Now they got one. They don't really care about me. It's not, it wasn't about me. You know, it was about them getting what they wanted and they got what they wanted. And now they're not getting what they wanted was this sexual, you know, connection. They do want this with you. They do want wish fulfillment, but they're worried about splitting up the family dynamics. You know, they're, they're really concerned about having that conversation with their family. Okay. I got to tell you something. Cause I feel like the spouse is very delusional. Like, Oh no, we'll work this out. And Oh no, you're fine. Everything will, everything will blow over. They're very, very delusional. And this person that you're with can't handle the, the level of disconnection that they have with this spouse. I feel like for you, you've really gone within and you're trying to nurture your heart. You're trying to nurture you because you're like, okay, well, if someone can't be with me, then I'm going to have to learn how to do this myself. And which is the right way to do it. You know, you don't, you don't want to be stuck in the situation where this person is stuck in a fucked up situation, to be honest with you. I mean, it's not, it's not healthy for anybody. I think there is some kind of, um, they're concerned about money with this. I feel, I feel like you take care of yourself fine. And I feel like this person does give you some money sometimes or extravagant gifts or what you would consider extravagant gifts. They've even, I, I see they even brought you flowers before. They do truly see you as their victory and they do want to look to the future with you and you, you still want it too. You know, I feel like, well, getting back to this, I got off track with this, um, six of pentacles here is with this, um, spouse, there's a money situation. They are concerned that if they leave this person, that they're going to have to get a job that, you know, they're going to have to stop taking care of the children, you know, all day long, but, and how that will affect the children, you know, there's, it's very intertwined. Like, it's almost like they feel like they have a nanny. That's a wife for, you know, for a few of you, it's a husband. Let's see. What's to go here? What love messages does your person have? Yeah, because they're a rock and a hard place. And it's good that you have put your foot down and said, hey, this isn't working for me. I am so lost in the ocean that is you. It says your picture brings me to tears. I know that the fire that burns in you is the same that burns in me. I find everything about you so pleasurable and irresistible. And of course, because kind of like you're their escape, you're their escape from this situation. I mean, they do love their children. They, you know, they don't want to see their spouse ripped apart. But at the same time, this person is so, their person is so delusional, so delusional. 
you know, and you, for you, you're like, oh, I'm not enough that, you know, you're frustrated in this situation. There's a lack of confidence, self-sabotage, you know, and you're jealous. You're jealous that this person has, it's almost like you are jealous at the fact that they beat you to the punch, meaning they got to him before you did. And you know, that's a silly thought, you know, it is, but you can't help it. You can't help it thinking this. You know, and I think this started out as like a work friendship kind of a thing. And then it blossomed into a romance. And you feel like your talk is click, your, your clock is ticking. I feel like that you want to have children too. And he wants to have children with you. And I know I keep going back between, you know, I'm trying to be neutral because, you know, this reading could be for many, many people. But there's definitely love here. I mean, that cannot be denied. Sorry, cards went flying, so I had to go grab them. So, is this person going to make a move and get this situation settled up? Sabotage, rebuilding, integration. Yeah, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're working on it. You know, they're being sabotaged by this person's delusion to get away from them. Like, oh no, you know, honey, we're fine. Everything's fine. Water under the bridge. Let's keep it as is. You know, and they, and I think some of them were even might might have been saying like, oh hey, I don't care if you keep, you know, hanging out and having other relationships. I don't care because I honestly don't want to be intimate with you. You know, this person has no desire to be intimate. You know, and I think that for you and your person here, this is a deep connection where you feel cheated. You feel slighted. I'm not going to lie here. This is what they want to offer you. And this is what you want from them. I'm feeling like it's going to be complicated. It's going to be time consuming. You know, this person's going to have to slowly rip themselves from this person because they are enmeshed in this, you know, no denying it. If they're in a marriage, they're enmeshed, but this is what they want to offer you. They know they can't even mention it, even though you've been like, Hey, I want the 10 of pentacles. I want this engagement ring. I want this to move forward, or I'm just going to go on my own. And you figure your shit out yourself. It's tearing them apart too there, Leo. Yeah, so now you're in a time of separation. Missing you, sadness, thinking about you. Unsure of what the future holds. You know, and if you guys do have any communication, there's masks. Oh, everything's fine. You know, whatever. The, you know, they're feeling defensive because... You know, for them, they're like, oh my God, you know, they're walking away from me and you're resting, right? And you're trying to recuperate, but they're thinking, oh my God, there was someone else now. They found someone who can give them what they want right away. And, you know, for them, they're just like, I can't move forward. They can't move forward and they can't move back. And this just came out, wedding rings. I think you're just going to have to be patient on this one. It says union. Wedding, marriage, a soul connection, eternal love, and everlasting promise. Let's see. Ah, cards are flying. All right. We're taking the flyers. So release your ex. And that's what you're telling them. You know, like, you're okay, it's time for you to do this. You keep saying you're going to do it and you don't. You keep making excuses says the time has come to clear your energy and this is trust this situation is calling for you to have faith and that's all you've got right now right you know I think there's a part of it where you've beaten yourself up to a certain degree going oh my god how could I be so stupid how could I be so stupid here's a marriage wedding card again there's new love that's what they're scared about this is what they want to give you they're scared that you're finding a new love, but I can tell that you bait yourself up. You're like, how can I get myself in this situation? This is so stupid. And I get it. 
So let's see what other messages. What other messages needs to come out here? They're asking for forgiveness because they're feeling so much guilt, shame, and remorse. Not because they still want to be with this person and that they're trying to appease them. It's for you. You know, it's for God. You know, because they know they've done something that they didn't think they would ever do. And they do want to offer you something. You're just going to have to be patient on this one. I feel like... I feel like you're not even going to... You might have walked away, but you haven't really walked away. Like, your heart's still in it. Like, for instance, see this heart here? You know, and the intertwining of it? It's like, you might be resting, but their heart's right with you. And you know it. I hope that was helpful. Please leave me a like, share, and subscribe. Note that they want to offer it to you, but they're just going to have to screw their head back on and figure this out. Especially since you laid down the law and walked away. All right. I love you, Leos. Please leave me a like, share, and subscribe, and let me know how this resonated with you down below. And if you feel called to gift me a, a, um, a deck to keep my readings fresh and new and adding new perspective with each different energy of cards, I would greatly appreciate that. And otherwise, I will see you next time on Medium of the Light Tarot. Love you guys. Bye.